Our lives really have an eternal perspective. And I think when you focus on that truth, it can help us to grow the kingdom and to look for opportunities all the time to glorify God through. I grew up in church. Um, I mean, I remember going in my little vest when vests were cool and a little small pocket Bible. Um, vests and small pocket Bibles are still cool. They are still cool. I'm just saying they were really cool back in the okay. 80s. But obviously, you know, you, you come to listen to the stories and even as a, as a, as a child, you can, you can uh, I don't know, relate to them. And, and it was really a good foundation for me. When we're serving in DPK, we're giving children that same experience that we had as young kids to have someone pouring into them the word. You know, I'm a teacher by trade. There was a point um, where I just thought, you know, the church doesn't need me to serve. I kept rationalizing, you teach all week, it's okay. You cannot teach on Sunday. I kept believing the lie that I wasn't needed. I would go to church and I would feel this, just this void, like I just, I wasn't comfortable being in church and God really had to show me that I was being selfish. And that void that I was feeling was conviction for not serving. And I don't remember at, a, at what exact moment it was, but I, you know, I do remember thinking, you know what, I, I need to be serving. I mean, I, I honestly never thought I was going to be in DPK because she was doing DPK before I started. She just kind of, you know, was like, hey, you know, there's, there's sometimes there's people that don't make it, and I'm thinking to myself, well, she wants to pursue this, and she's got a movement to do this. I need to support that. So I knew that there would be one or two people there and sometimes 20, 20 plus kids, so it's a lot to handle. My first time in, it was kind of the, the time where I was like, oh man, this is, I can make these kids happy and laugh and smile and it makes it a lot easier for the parents to leave and it makes it easier for the kids to kind of get in and get plugged in and then focus on her. This is my comfort zone, teaching young children. It's way out of his comfort zone, so it's been really cool to see him just open up to the kids and build those relationships with the kids that come. You know, I get to see a side of her that, you know, I don't get to see because I don't sit in her class all day and, and watch her. And it's it's uh, it's a cool side to see because she's it. She's really talented. When I was serving and he was not, you know, we would go to church and we'd drop the kids off and he would go into the service and I would go into DPK. And there was a disconnect. You know, we weren't experiencing God and being poured into together and so now that we go to church and we go to service together or we go serve together we're together and God's pouring into us as a couple and not just individuals. The church has a team that gets together and they put together this wonderful curriculum. It's emailed out way ahead of time before you're scheduled to serve. It's step by step exactly what you need to do. You walk in the room, they have a box prepared with your week with all the supplies in it. If you are intentional and you are loving on them, then they're gonna get something out of it. You never know what that impact's gonna have on that child or even on parent. And um, I think we're just, it's a small part of something really big for the kingdom. And even future impact. I mean, the little small thing that might not seem significant to us, is a big thing to children and, and that's something they'll take with them from here on. I've, I've received a lot out of what I have uh, experienced in DPK and, and I feel like that anyone else that would just take the, the leap of faith would, would also get the same out of it. Just based on my experience and what I went through is don't believe the lie that you're not needed. There is a spot for you to serve in the church.